What is going on guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 33rd JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be going over how to add array elements using a loop. Now we're going to be learning this for a couple of reasons. First of all, whenever you're working in web design in JavaScript, it's a cool little technique that is definitely going to come in handy. And aside from that, it kind of takes the things that we learn already and combines them into a cool little mini program. So before I get into that, I'm going to be using something called the prompt and I can't remember if I taught you guys prompt in this JavaScript series or the last JavaScript series but if it if I already taught this to you guys and you already know what it means I apologize but I just wanna you know go over it anyway so basically what a prompt is is it's a lot similar to an alert box the only difference is the user can enter text in a little text box and with the text that they entered say they entered their name Bucky or something you can take that name and set it equal to a variable so it pretty much is an easy way to allow the user to create their own variables so let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about go ahead and make a variable I'm gonna name mine pi or whatever and set it equal to P R O M P T this is a built-in JavaScript function so no need to uh, you know create it yourself later on and prompt takes two parameters the first parameter is something like enter your name the first parameter is gonna basically give them a little dialogue um, like if you had a prompt that you want them to enter in your name you'd be like enter your name um, if you want a prompt say pick a number you'd write pick a number you'll see later on where this appears on the text box and the second parameter is what appears in the text box by default now we don't want anything to appear in text box by default so we're just gonna leave this blank but you need to put those empty double quotation marks so now whatever they enter in this text box or the prompt box that pops up it's gonna be stored in the variable pi so now what we can do is we can print out that variable you know using how we already know document write. so document dot write and we'll write like hello and then just write the name pi so let's go ahead and save this and see what the heck I'm talking about so here is my prompt box right here enter your name Bucky Roberts okay and now it says hello Bucky Roberts simple enough so like I said it's basically a prompt box that gives the user a dialogue such as enter your name and by default if you leave the second parameter empty, just double quotation marks, nothing's going to appear in here. But you can put something in there by default, like enter text here. That's like one of the common techniques. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys what a prompt box was, so you guys aren't lost whenever I teach you guys this new technique. So anyways, the technique I'm going to teach you guys is how to add elements to an array using a for loop. So let's go ahead and make an array called crap and set it equal to new array and let's go ahead and give a size of like three elements already so right now our array is empty we don't have any elements in it so let's go ahead and make a loop that runs three times so in order to do that go ahead and your parameters are this i equals zero it's gonna start at zero and then go i is less than three so then whenever we increment it by one using i plus plus this is gonna run three three times Again, you might think zero, one, two, three. That's four times. But notice that this is i is less than three. So when it gets to three, it doesn't run. It's only going to run on this zero, one, and two. So if you count those up, it's three times. So now we know that i is going to be equal to zero the first time, one the second time, and two the third time. So now we can use that to our advantage because remember, whenever we're creating an array, array indexes start at zero so thou then again what am I saying then again then whenever we create our array we can just go ahead and stick I in here and now it's gonna run three times first it's gonna say crap zero the second time it runs it's gonna be crap one and the third time it's gonna be crap two those are the three elements that we need to you know to fill our array so let's go ahead and we can just add elements in here like hey now or you know baked beans or whatever we want but we want the user to enter these elements so in order to do that here is where we use that technique we just learned called the prompt box just like that so let's go ahead and give them you know something like add something to the array why hit caps lock I don't know but 
F it, I'm keeping it. And then we don't want to put anything in there by default because that would just be dumb. So now what's going to happen is this prompt box is going to pop up three times. The first time it's going to say add something to the array. You're going to type something in and it's going to add it to the array index 0. The next time you type something it's going to add it to array index 1. And the last time it's going to add something to array index 2. So now we have a populated array and then we can just do something with it like print it out on the screen like document dot write and just go ahead and write something like crap 0 plus crap 1 plus crap 2. So let's go ahead and save this and I got a feeling something's gonna happen here. Oh, check it out. It worked perfectly. I thought that this was gonna appear over here off the screen, but game time. So it says add something to the array. Now we're gonna add something like um, baked, actually let's add something like beans. And then we press OK and that beans right now is stored in array 0. So now it runs through the loop again, add something to the array, and add something like candy. So we press OK, and now candy is stored in array 1. And now this is the last time it's going to run. It just says, add something to the array, and we add something like dogs. And press OK, and when we press OK, that's going to be stored in crap 2. So now we have um, beans in 0 candy and one dogs in two so then whenever we print it out zero one and two it printed out our filled array so that's pretty cool and I know I could have probably add some spaces there or maybe some line breaks but again this is just a quick example showing you how to have the user populate an array using a for loop so if you understood that then you got the main idea of one why an array is useful and two why loops are useful and there are a lot of different techniques that you can use using an array and loops and not only um, entering information but they're also really useful when printing out information so again the most common technique that I want to stress is this use the array index as the counter so that is a very popular technique so once you get the hang of that you take your array skills to a whole new level so for now thank you guys for watching hopefully you understand what a prompt is and also how to loop through arrays using a for loop so lastly thank you guys for watching one more time don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later